In this tutorial, we'll introduce concept artists, designers, and illustrators who are used to working in Adobe Photoshop to the world's most powerful natural media software application, Corel Painter 11. Painter 11 is the ultimate digital art studio for anyone ready to expand their definition of creativity. Working with the most advanced digital painting and natural media tools available, you can create the art you've always envisioned. Let's look at some ways that the use of non-destructive layers in Painter 11 can help you create artistic images from scratch, or nearly from scratch. Suppose I wanted to work on a piece of artwork for a client who was requesting a raspberry icon that looked like it was brush painted with acrylics. I could easily start from scratch and try to paint a raspberry. I'll open a new document here and start to mix a nice deep red color for my raspberry. I can use the mixer to add some reds and start to mix them and see if I start to see what looks like a raspberry red here. Maybe a little more purple and a touch of pink to lighten it. Okay, there we go. Now I'll use the eyedropper to pick that color up and start painting with a large acrylic brush around 50 and give my raspberry its rough shape. I'm gonna start from very large strokes and layer up with smaller strokes. I'll bring my brush size down to about 40 and give the raspberry some regions of a different color. And finally, the individual clusters that make up the berry itself. And I might wanna select a sort of light brown or tan color to approximate some of the hairs. And let's see, add a few and then a nice light pale pink for some highlights. Okay, not too bad. A raspberry from scratch looks decent, but also a little primitive. My client's looking for something a little different, so I'd like to try another approach. This is where a painter's powerful non-destructive layer painting comes in. I can accomplish my goal in a matter of minutes by opening a nice photo of a raspberry. Oh, here we go. Painter has the ability to let you paint on individual layers non-destructively. This gives you the freedom to experiment with many different approaches to painting on an image, without the fear of running into the undo cap. When you're working in Painter, more often than not you'll be likely using many hundreds if not thousands of strokes to create your artwork, and there are only so many levels of undo. What you can do is create new layers within your document and experiment to your heart's content on each, knowing full well that you can decide later whether to keep them or discard them, and you'll never lose the work that you did on the other layers. Once again, we'll look at the pickup underlying color function and click it on for our new layers. We saw earlier how pickup underlying color affects the strokes that you apply on your individual layers, smearing in some of the color from the layers beneath the one you're painting on onto the layer you are painting on. When colors blend with one another like that, it gives it the quality of real world painting. But how can we use this to our advantage in creating our raspberry? In this case, I wanna borrow color and detail information from the photographic image to create my painting. I'm going to create it on several layers, allowing me a great deal of freedom. Certain brushes in Painter, such as the acrylics brush, give you option sliders for resaturate or reset and bleed. These two settings are brought to bear on the way pickup underlying color works. If you have a value set for reset, you'll be painting with some amount of saturated color based on the color from the color mixer, blended with some of the color from that layer behind. If you set reset to zero, then you'll be only painting with the color and detail information from the other layers. The bleed setting is how much of the color from the underlying layer gets picked up by your brush the difference between this idea of picking up underlying color information and say the cloning tool in Photoshop is that you're passing that information from the other layers, a photo in this case, through painter's brushes as opposed to a direct clone stamp type of arrangement which is using a full-fledged version of that portion of the cloning source image. Let's see how it works. With my canvas layer turned on, I can start to paint on layer one with the 0% reset acrylic captured bristle brush and start to use the colors from the photo to blend together a nice raspberry background. Now, if I move to the next layer and make my brush a bit smaller, maybe 30, if I start to paint with Reset Zero right on top of that layer, then I'm only picking up the previously blended color. It's when I turn off layer one that I'm once again able to pull color and detail from the photo layer on the canvas. Take a look at this with the canvas layer turned off you can see that it's like I'm painting here, but it's like having a source images wet pixels on my brush instead of some color of paint from my palette. I'm going to quickly repeat the process here two more times. 
each time hiding the other layers and painting with yet smaller brushes and strokes from the original layer. Let me zoom in a bit more here and I'll make my brush even smaller and I'll try to work with just the reflections on the berry. Now I can turn the canvas off and combine the different layers to see what I've done here. Here it is with all of them on and maybe I don't even need layer one or two and I can decide to just leave them off if I want to. If your smaller brush strokes are on the highlight layer, they can lie on top of the larger strokes beneath, the way an artist builds up paint on a canvas. Finally, I can select that light brown color again, and this time I'll turn off pick up underlying color and just use the canvas as a guide for painting the hairs on the berry. After I've painted them in, I can go over to the layers palette and with that layer selected, slide my opacity back until I see that they're blending in the way I would like. Corel is changing what's possible in your art and it's as easy as installing Painter 11 on your Windows or Macintosh computer. Thanks for watching.